So we're going to be discussing CSEC biology, how to pass and how to get that grade. So the first thing, if you want to pass CSEC biology, general biology, not HSP now, is your graphs. On that paper 2 exam, you are going to see a graph. You are going to book up on a graph. So, if up to this day you still can do your scale good, if you keep on and forget your y and your x axis, if you still, as we say, if you can't make your scale accordingly by yourself, then you're not a problem. You're not a problem if you can't make your scale and all that and you know, draw up your line and so on. Right, and the next thing too, we're gonna make an even bigger problem than being able to draw up a graph is if you can't interpret one. If CXC not give you a graph to draw, they might give you one to interpret, or they might give you both. It's important that you know how to interpret a graph. You can know, okay, this is directly proportional to that as one increase, one decrease. And you get what I say? If I can't look on a graph and pick up things like that, then you're going to have problems with this CSEC um, biology exam. Problem. But that's one of the key factors for the paper too, ensuring that your graph skills are up there. Ensuring that you know your content, if you get what I say. Because, as I said, the paper too is the knowledge-based one. It's not no multiple choice, you can just in a mini mind more. You have to write something. And the thing about these um, exams is that they are usually connected. So it's like A, one question of A, B, C, D. You get me I say? And sometimes in order for you to answer C, you have to answer B. And so the questions are all connected. So you don't want to go into the exam and so they choose a topic like maybe mitosis. You don't know nothing about mitosis. And it's a whole four or five questions and one something. How you are going to deal with that? My advice is ensure that you know something and everything in the syllabus. Don't go into the exam and like a whole topic you never see before. A whole topic you don't know, you don't have an idea what it is. So it's not like you can go in the exam and make up something which we kind of not advise that, you know. Because in biology, everything is kind of more, is it like right or wrong? It's not like maybe English where you can write your way or social studies and write your way and explain. In biology or in the sciences, is either so it go or not so it go. You get what I say? But that's my advice. Ensure that you know something on each topic in the syllabus. Speaking of syllabus, ensure so you even see the syllabus. Don't go into the exam and they are going to say, oh, Miss never teach this and Miss listen to me enough time. Enough time students go to exam and teach and never look upon that yet. There's enough people, enough students do exam in the past and syllabus never done. But them sit the exam do. So don't fully depend on your teacher if you say, oh, it's only what the teacher, what my teacher do, may have an answer. It's not like the little, um, it's not like the in school test that the end of term or the mid semester test they want to do, you know, where it's a teacher write the paper based on what you teach. It's CXC. CXC doesn't care if your teacher never reach, reach cell division or if your um, teacher never teach cell specialization, they don't care. Them not care if your teacher never teach diffusion. Them know say them have it on the syllabus, they might test on it. So don't sit down and say, oh, my teacher never teach me, or I never know this, or I never know that. You can't, you can't look on it like that. And so, graph schools have up there, ensuring that you know your content, ensuring that you have seen your syllabus. You're going to exam and be like, oh, my teacher never teach this. That don't make no sense. No. You're really putting yourself at a disadvantage when you do that, because like, sometimes teacher really really um they're not going to finish the syllabus like from about grade 10 my teacher did i say that she said you know say we're not going to that syllabus here so it means say you have to go go one side and go learn we need to learn say figure out me and say. so it's kind of like that but teachers usually try to cover the main points you know but sometimes the syllabus does not get completed between grade 10 and grade 11 and that is the truth Especially if something happened like oh when the like, little COVID thing happened and school did out and all these things but if there's a good reason then sometimes the things them now get covered and that's just the truth. I would advise you guys to do a pass your course for paper so forget me so look like get one. Go on um you can go on CSEC passivers.com, CSC biology tutor, um think CSEC, I think them have a bio as well. Just go on there. 
watch and see. Just watch, just watch. You can just watch one or two um, past papers for paper two, and watch and pay attention to how the teachers answer the questions. I mean, pay attention to how the teachers answer the questions. Then. That is my advice for the paper too, because the truth is that the layout or the setup of the CSEC by all of the exam them is usually the same each year. They may not put back the exact exact question to the T, but it's close enough to what the last year question was. So are you of you know so, alright, um you know some realize them love put a graph at this particular particular section of the paper. So you know what I mean if you expect a graph in that first section of the paper, yeah. And then they can say, oh, I'm realizing them love of this like a short answer um, to the back right they say, you know. So, okay, me need to just know one and two. So, that's all. But watch and pay attention to how the teachers answer the question. Because sometimes just watching the past, you really can help you learn, you know. Because we can't forget, um, it was the day before my HSB exam, although I was general biology at top, you know, and me say, the teacher worked the question, you know, and me say, I think it was something about the kidneys. I mean, I say, you know, so I actually know about the kidneys like that. But just for the sake, I'm watch the video. I'm watch the video, um, the participle video where the man answer the question about the kidney. And guess when we're going to the HSB exam, what I see on the paper? It was a question about kidney, but like it wasn't the same question that the teacher that answered, but I say, yes, the sign. Them love use that. You have to just match things up and realize everything actually related at the end of the day. So instead of um, just asking a question to explain something about the kidney, like when I was watching the past paper, they actually gave me a diagram in the HSB exam, which you get me a sense. And so you have to match things up and uh, make, make nonsense make sense. You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes we look funny and we say, oh, this can't relate to this, the two different songs. They are related. So you just have to watch and pay attention to things like that. As in the paper one, listen to me. Past paper is straight true for the paper one. Past paper is straight true for the paper one. If you get me, I'm saying, do as many past papers as you can for C say of biology. I mean, I tell you, say, you mash up the paper one just like that. If you do foolishness on the paper two, you know, say, end of the day, you mash up the paper one. Right? So, yeah, you just have to do what you have to do. Like, even if you do foolishness on paper two, no any so your mash up paper one now you walk away with no less than 50 or 16. so do your past papers for the paper one and you can't go wrong so you need to ensure so you did finish all your labs them all the necessary labs them did finish for your all your lab books ensure so your lab book for buy it done you finish all your labs them everything good ensure say so your lab skills good your critical thinking up there all that just ensure say so you're going to the exam equipped mentally the critical sometimes you know the question can try to trick you know and sometimes it's more than surface level and it requires us to critically think about it and you sit down and you say but oh this is a question that i said but them don't sometimes they don't want to ask you straightforward so you have to read into it and realize oh what this thing really mean okay all right so the takeaway from this video is labs content your critical thinking skills and past papers that is the takeaway that is the takeaway of this entire video your past papers them we need to do for match up the exam your labs them which is your sba labs all your labs them we are doing your lab book for your sba ensure so that good ensure so you know going to going to the paper two exam with content something in your brain you get me saying right and even in the paper one, you see a book up on a question we actually never see before. You can have your knowledge, we back up and say, oh, I actually know the answer. Even if we never see a past paper question on this particular question, right? Cool. And your critical thinking skills. Just, you have to go on an exam and get ready to use that brain here. Don't go in there and just dead so. Get ready to think about it. Reason out the question and answer the question. So. Right? As I say, good graphs and at the exam, know your, know your graphs, them, know your content, make sure your it's pro and tight, critical thinking skills up there, all of that. So just guys, do your, do your best on the exam. Do your best on that exam. So that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Tony underscore Ashley. You can also, um, you can also DM me any questions you have on Instagram. That's the end of today's video. Bye guys.